Hello, this is the BP Lab. We will be assembling and coding a Smart Farm Kit ourselves. In this session, we will be assembling the Smart Farm Kit ourselves. And in the next session, we will connect the Arduino and sensors, install software, and upload the Smart Farm source code to the Arduino. Let's check the materials for the Smart Farm we will be making today. We will need four Smart Farm frames, an Arduino Uno board, a breadboard, a relay module, an LCD module, a plant growth LED, jumper wires, a Phillips screwdriver, bolts and nuts, and adhesive. First, let's take a look at the frames. Frames 1 through 8 are used to create the basic structure of the Smart Farm. And frame 9 is a fixed frame that can be used to connect multiple Smart Farms. Frame 10 is an extension part that can adjust the height of the Smart Farm according to the height of the plants. First, detach frame 1, which will be the top of the Smart Farm. We will attach the plant growth LED to the back of frame 1. Remove the sticker on the back of the plant growth LED and attach it to the back of frame 1. Insert the jumper wires of the plant growth LED through the holes on the back of frame 1. Now, let's attach the relay module to frame 1 using bolts and nuts. Place the module pins facing left on the part labeled a relay of frame 1. Insert bolts into the three designated holes, as shown, and secure them in place using nuts. Use a screwdriver to tighten them firmly. Next, we'll attach the Arduino and breadboard to frame 1. Secure the Arduino using bolts and nuts in the three slots provided. Peel off the sticker on the back of the breadboard and attach it to the frame, making sure the plus end, indicated by the red line, faces outward. Now, let's connect the red jumper wire from the plant growth LED to the NO pin of the relay module. Use a screwdriver to loosen the screw on the pin, insert the red jumper wire, and tighten the screw back firmly to hold the wire in place. This time, detach frame 2 and frame 8 from the front of the smart farm. Align the four holes on the back of frame 2 with the corresponding holes on frame 8. Next. Flip the LCD module over so that the screen faces upwards and the text is in the correct orientation. Insert a bolt from the front of the LCD module and secure it with a nut on the back. Detach four male to female cables and connect them to the pins on the LCD module. Attach the frame with the sensors to the front frame, and take out the jumper wire connected to the LCD module through the groove on the sensor frame. Finally, detach frame 3 and assemble it according to the provided diagram. Next, please detach the frame 4 and frame 5 with the graphics. Frames 4 and 5 will serve as the top supports. Connect them from top to bottom, aligning the grooves and ensuring that the graphic side faces outward. If you want a stronger hold, you can use adhesive. Next, please detach frames 6 and 7, which will serve as the bottom supports. Assemble the frames by aligning the grooves. Frames 6 and 7 should be assembled without adhesive, as they will be extended according to the height of the plants. This completes the assembly of the basic version of the Smart Farm. Frame 10 is a height extension part, and Frame 9 is a kit connector. As the plants grow taller, you can attach the Frame 10 part to the Smart Farm legs, as shown on the screen, to extend the height. Also, Frame 9 is a part for connecting to other smart farms. By connecting them, you can grow more plants together. So far, you have assembled the basic and extended versions of the smart farm. 
In the next session, we will connect various sensors and Arduino to the smart farm to bring light into it.